and welcome back. I'm Jacob. Today we're going to be working on neck, shoulders, upper back. We're going to release and then rebuild. Uh, I hear from a lot of people how they have like chronically tight neck and shoulders, but which is, you know, the very, very common problem given our lifestyle <laughs> in this modern world. But you can release and stretch all you want and it's not really going to change anything unless you rebuild the deeper foundational muscles that are going to support a more optimal posture and help to hold your bones in better alignment. So we're going to start by releasing and then we'll rebuild and then we'll release a little bit more and you should feel great. You don't need any props for this class. Uh, but if you have a little bolster or blanket, if you, if you know it like that it's a struggle or it's really uncomfortable for you to sit cross-legged for any amount of time and you want to prop something just under your seat, that's how we're going to begin in a cross-legged position. So the bolster would go just at the, just at the back of your seat. So you're not sitting right on it like this. It's forcing you to almost like, like you're almost falling off of it. Okay. If you need that, grab it. You don't really need a mat, but if you have a mat, set yourself up and we'll get started. Okay, so just starting in some kind of a comfortable cross-legged seat. And you know what? If cross-legged isn't comfortable and kneeling is more comfortable, this works just as well. And you can also put a bolster under your, under your hips and that takes a little bit of the pressure off your knees. So however you choose to sit, cool. Let's uh, close the eyes for a second. Just drop the chin slightly into the chest. Connect with the breath before we begin. Inhaling through both nostrils. Exhaling through both nostrils. Breathe in again through the nostrils. Pull the, the breath into the belly. Fill up all the way to the top of the lungs this time. Maybe grow your spine a little taller. Pause at the top and slowly exhale, deflating the belly. One more time, biggest breath you can fit inside of your vessel. Relax the jaw, relax the head, relax the shoulders, exhale. Very nice. Blink the eyes open, lift the chin, reach the arms behind you. Interlace the fingers with the awkward index finger on top. And then press the base of the palms together, squeeze the elbows together, sit up nice and tall so I don't want you like getting out of this because the tendency is to kind of arch the back. Actually, hold on. I'm going to switch positions. I'm going to use a little pen. Okay, so come back into your interlaced fingers, base of the palms pressing together, together elbows bent squeezing towards one another. Stay here. You're probably already feeling a stretch in the front of the shoulders, or if you can straighten your arms, go ahead and do that and reach them away from you and towards the earth. Okay. We're going to stay in this position for a while. And if this gets too intense, just come back to the bent elbows squeezing together. All right. Arms extend or not turn your gaze to the right, gazing over the right shoulder. Again, keep the Sits bones pressing down and the crown of the head reaching up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Sustain the shape. Slowly inhale through center. Gaze to the left over the left shoulder. Keep the palms or the knuckles reaching earthward and away from you. Breathe in. Sit tall. Pull the belly in. Exhale. Sustain the shape. Inhale, come back to center. Bring the knuckles to the sacrum just for a minute. Give the arms a little break. And then switch the interlock of the fingers so the opposite index finger is on top now. And then re-extend the arms. This time we're going to reach the right ear towards the right shoulder, but as though we're trying to go beyond it. So rather than just kinking the right side of the neck, think about getting more length out of the right side of the neck as well as the left. Breathe in, breathe out, relax the face, the jaw, the eyes, breathe in, breathe out.
breathe out. Inhale through center. Maintain the shape with your arms. Reach the left ear towards the left shoulder and beyond. Keep reaching the knuckles away from you. Elongate through the right side of the neck and the left. Relax the eyebrows. Soften around the shoulders as best you can. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath in and out. Release the knuckles to the shoulders. Bring your head back to center. I did that a little speedy because I kind of couldn't wait to get out of it. This is some deep releasing we're doing in all of the muscles around the neck. Switch the grip of your fingers again. So opposite index finger on top. And re-extend, we've got two more movements. We've gone through rotation and lateral flexion. Now we're gonna go frontal flexion. So ground down through the hips, extend the arms, or not, just squeeze the elbows together if you're not extending. Drop the chin into the chest. Keep the spine very erect. Breathe in. And breathe out. Maybe drop the chin a little bit more. Really reach it towards the clavicle of your neck. And one more breath here. Inhale, lift the chin, keep lifting the chin, gaze up to the sky and stretch out through the throat. Breathe in, keep reaching the knuckles down and away from you, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Breathe out, sustain. And one more breath in, one more breath out. And slowly come back to center, release your hands, bring your hands to your knees, roll the shoulders really gently a few times, forward then back, and then back and then forward. Good, roll the wrists around a few times, both directions. Still breathing nice and slowly, deeply, calmly through the nose. All right, now we're gonna roll over onto the shins. You can come up onto your knees like so, or you can stay with your hips on your heels for this. Um, it's preferable for me to stand up like this. Okay, so we're gonna bring the fingertips up and we're gonna hold onto the ribs. Now you may need, you may have one side that's a little tighter than the other. You might have to help one hand and get your fingertips as close to your armpits as you can. So you have your pinky finger on the front of your ribs and your thumbs should be touching the back of your ribs. Okay, and we're stretching out all the muscles around the armpits. <laughs> and this might be very intense and that's okay. Keep trying to press the base of the hands into your rib and pull the shoulders away from the ears. If this is feeling very intense, then maybe bring a little bit of movement through the neck, just really gently moving side to side. Maybe even drop the chin a little bit, make some um, half rolls. And if it's not too intense and it's like it's manageable, then just try to stay in stillness, maybe even soften the gaze or close the eyes and just really feel into this. Deep breath in through the nose, deep breath out through the nose. Two more like that. Full breath in through the nose, soften through the belly as much as you can while still supporting your low back in whatever shape you're in. And exhale. One more. slowly release and roll your wrists again maybe roll your shoulders again maybe just wiggle around a little bit okay now hands down to your mat or whatever surface you're using we're going to come into sphinx pose so forearms land legs extend behind you toes are untucked shoulders are over the elbows and fingertips are all pointing forwards the pubic bone roots down into the earth. 
the inner thigh spin upwards so that you get a little bit more space across the low back and then roll some of the weight into your pinky toe and really root down through the big toe and the top of the pinky toes. Press down through your hands and your forearms and then drag them without actually moving them, energetically drag them towards the toes and the toes towards the fingers. Reach the crown of the head higher. Cinch the waist like you're <laughs> sucking in your gut, but keep pressing down through the pubic bone. Take a breath in and release the chin to the chest. Take another breath in here, keep the chin in the chest. In another breath out, press more down through the pubic bone and pull your chin even more into your chest. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the gaze, lower down onto your chest, make um, cactus arms, little field goals with your arms and we're going to roll to the right side so i want your right elbow to be in line with your right shoulder your right wrist is in line with your right elbow fingertips are spread and rooting down as well as the bottom knuckle mounds drag your left hand back to frame the chest and then lower your right ear to the mat roll with the strength of your left hand onto your right side your left foot can kick stand behind you for support, or you can keep your left knee to the earth in front of the right leg if it's just too much to roll that far. And then keep pressing all through every point of contact through your right arm, press down through it as you open up through the right chest, trying to spin your heart skyward, but keep the left hand grounded for support. Full breath in. Full breath out. Another breath in. Full body breath. Pull the breath all the way down to your tailbone and elongate through your whole right side body. Exhale, hold the shape but soften into it. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly roll back onto the belly. Re-extend your left hand into cactus arms. Turn to your left ear. Drag your right hand back to frame the right ribs. Just maybe glance over and ensure that your right elbow is in line, or your left elbow in line with the left shoulder, left wrist in line with left elbow, and the fingertips root down so your left arm is active here. You should feel your bicep activating. Left ear to the mat. Roll to the left. Right leg can kick stand behind you or rest in front of the left leg. It doesn't really matter what the right leg is doing. It's just here to support you. We want to focus, focus on the left pectoral area, left armpit, left bicep is where I want you to be feeling this stretch. And then press into the right hand to open up a little bit more. Notice if you're clenching your jaw or <laughs> grimacing your face. Maybe just your awareness will soften any of that tension. Breathe in fully through the nose, elongate through the whole left side body, maybe root down a little bit through the outer edge of the left foot. And exhale, keep all that length, but soften into it just slightly. Two more breaths like this, breathe in. And breathe out. Press down a little bit more through your whole left arm that's in contact with the earth. Breathe in. And exhale, breathe out. Roll back onto your belly. Stack your hands under your forehead and just gently rock your hips from side to side. All right, toes are untucked. Maybe bring the big toe mounds to touch for this next one and really press down through the pinky toe mound and then root down through the pubic bone so your whole lower body is active here. Bring your forehead to the mat, interlace your fingers behind your skull. The thumbs should be just touching the nape of the neck. Take a breath in, feel your belly press into the mat 
And as you exhale, lift your elbows, lift your head, but keep some resistance by pressing into the back of your head with your hands. This is the exhale. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift, lift the elbows, keep the shoulders moving away from the ears. We're strengthening the cervical spine here. Inhale, lower, keep rooting down through the whole lower body, the pubic bone. Exhale, lift, lift the elbows, press the head into the hands and the hands into the head. Inhale, lower, we'll do two more. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Keep pressing hands to head, hands to head, head to hand. Hold for an inhale. And exhale, lower. Release your hands to your sides. Turn to your right cheek. Take a breath in through the nose. And a breath out of the mouth. Turn to your left cheek. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. Sweep the hands forward to frame the chest and then drag them back towards your low ribs. So if you glance back, your elbows are stacked over your wrist. Press down through the base of the hands as best you can. And if your hands are that far back and you can't get the base of your hand down, then crawl them just a little bit forward until you can press down through the base of the hand. And then when you find that place, again, reestablish the connection between your lower body and the earth. So pubic bone, tops of the feet, tops of the toes. Spin the inner thighs slightly up and out. And then keep, keep trying to drag your hands back as you squeeze the elbows together. Take a breath in with your forehead on the mat or close to it. And as you exhale, lift the chest, squeeze the elbows. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press down through the base of the palms, the pubic bones. Squeeze the elbows together and lift the chest. Keep the back of the neck long. Inhale, lower. Three more. Exhale, lift and squeeze everything towards the midline. Now we're working more of the middle back muscles and the thoracic muscles, the lower traps. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Last one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And we'll hold here for the inhale. Exhale, lower. Release your palms, face up at your side, turn to your left cheek, rock your hips side to side, breathe in, breathe out, melt your back body towards the earth. Turn to your right cheek, keep gently rocking the hips, breathe in, and breathe out and melt. Okay, flip your palms, fingers point towards the feet, but your palms press down as well as the elbows. Keep your forehead on the mat or your chin if that's okay. Bring your big toe mounds to touch. Engage your legs, press down through the pubic bone. Take a breath in, feel the belly press into the earth. And as you exhale, you're gonna lift both of your legs. Spread your toes, keep squeezing the inner lines of the legs towards one another, press down through your palms. Take another breath in, and another breath out. On your next breath in, lift your palms. Your elbows can stay bent, or you can restrain your arms as best you can. Keep as much length between the crown of your head and your toes as you can. Breathe in, maybe rotate your thumbs to the sky and reach your fingertips towards your toes, breathe out. One more breath in. And exhale, lower everything to the mat, right cheek lands. Melt your back body into your front body, into the earth. Turn to your left cheek. Very nice, swim the arms forward. Hands come to frame the chest, tuck the toes under, and press yourself into a table pose. And from table pose, untuck the toes and just glide the hips back towards the heels for a nice child's pose. Stretch out the back body. You just work the deepest erector muscles that support your spine. So we're training them, retraining them 
how to better support the spine. Lower your forehead if that feels okay. And then drag yourself forward, come into tabletop position. Hips are over the knees, feet are hips width apart, hands are underneath the shoulders, fingertips are spread nice and wide. Shift weight into your left hand and wrap your tricep back so your elbow crease faces inward or forward even. Inhale, reach the right arm high, follow the thumb with your gaze if you can, press down through both shins and both tops of the feet. And then we're just gonna pulse here, moving the arm back in space towards our left side body. For five, four, three, two, one. And then exhale, we'll weave the right arm behind the left and lower the right shoulder to the earth, turn to your right ear and lower to the earth. Stay here or extend the left arm out in front of you. You can even come onto your forehead if that feels okay in your body. Try to keep the hips pulling back and away from the left shoulder and then really press down through the back of the right hand and the forearm almost like you're trying to pull the right arm out from under you. Take a breath in and a breath out. One more like that. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring your left hand back next to your face. Pull yourself up. Reach the right arm straight out to the side and then forward, palm facing up. Bend the elbow and bring the hand to the space between the shoulder blades or as close to that as you can get. And then press the back of your head into your forearm, lower the right elbow to around the left hand and drop the elbow to the mat. Crawl your left fingertips off the mat to support you and then press down through the right elbow and pull the hips back. Stretch out through the tricep, the shoulder, this, maybe even you'll feel this stretch into the right ribs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good, now we're gonna come up to stand on the knees. So drag the body back and slide the left hand up the leg. Come up to standing with your right elbow in the air. Bring your left hand out like a T, thumb pointing down. Bend the left elbow and bring the forearm behind you and your left fingertips will come to your outer right hip. Reach the right arm up high, and then rotate out the shoulder so the thumb points out and down, and then we'll find the left hand with the right fist. Grab the right fist with the left hand. Keep your core engaged here. Keep the hips pressing forward, and then squeeze your elbows towards one another. Drop the right ear towards the right shoulder, and maybe lean a bit towards the right and we'll stretch out the, the left shoulder area a little bit. I like to wiggle around here really gently, really slowly and twist, maybe lean to the other side and then back, breathing through the nose and then come up to center and slowly release everything. Roll out your wrists, roll out your shoulders, in no strict method, just gentle wiggles, release anything that might feel a little bit sticky after this. Okay, come back down onto your quadru quadruped table position. Root down through the right fingertips, check in to see that hips are over knees, feet are hips width apart, claw with your fingertips, press down through the base knuckles, and then rotate from the shoulder, the elbow crease comes to face inward or forward, so we're really stabilizing that shoulder joint. Inhale, sweep the left arm up to the sky, follow the thumb with your gaze, keep your low belly engaged here, so we just want this twist to happen from the spine, not from the pelvis, and pulse, pulse back for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, sweep the left arm underneath you behind the right and lower your left ear 
to the mat. Press down through the left forearm and the back of the left hand and fingertips like you're trying to pull the left arm back out from under you. Maybe extend your right arm forward if that feels good. Stay here and breathe. Pull the hips away from the right shoulder and reach the right fingertips away from the hips. Maybe turn onto your forehead on the mat if that feels nice or don't. Breathe into your shoulder girdle. Full breath in through the nose. Full breath out through the mouth. One more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your right hand back next to your face. Press into it. Reach the left arm out to the side like a T. And then move it forward. Palm faces up. Bend the elbow and reach the left hand towards the center of the shoulder blades. Maybe you can wiggle it over enough that your skull presses into your forearm. And then inhale, extend from the tailbone out the crown of the head, and exhale, lower the left elbow in front of the right hand. Crawl your right fingertips off your mat to support you, and then press down through your left elbow and pull back through the hips, sinking the left armpit towards the earth. Breathe here. One more full breath in through the nose. Pull it all the way down to the tailbone. Full exhale. Good. Now press down through the right hand. We're going to keep the left arm as it is and come all the way up to standing on the knees. Yeah. Okay. Right arm reaches out to the side. Thumb points down. Right elbow bends, left arm wraps behind you. You can wiggle your right fingertips outside of your left hip. Inhale, release the left arm, bring it straight up to the sky. Rotate thumb down and the left arm comes out like a T and then makes a fist and you grab that left fist with your right hand, squeeze the elbows together, press the hips forward, engage the low belly so you're not collapsing into the lumbar spine. You're strong, and then you can press the right forearm into the lower back that's not moving. Lower the left ear towards the left shoulder and beyond, and start to maybe lean a little bit to the left. Breathing through the nose, releasing through the right shoulder, right neck. Maybe drop the chin towards the chest. Maybe come gaze up to the sky, lift the chin and lower and maybe twist a little bit to the left and to the right. Lean to the right a little bit. Keep the elbows squeezing towards each other. Back to center and release everything really slowly. Take a few circles, rotations with the shoulders and the scapula. Do a little shoulder dance, slow-mo, roll the wrists around, and then land your hands on your mat. We'll come into a child's pose one more time. Hips can drop to the heels or stay high. Extend the arms forward, lower your forehead to the mat if that's cool with you. If that's not, stack a couple fists, drop your third eye on top of that pile, breathe in through the nose. Let the belly expand onto the thighs. Breathe out through the mouth. Relax the forehead, the jaw, the eye sockets, the tongue. And then slowly come up to a seat, cross-legged or otherwise. Bring your hands to your knees. Take a big breath in, pull on the knees, pull the shoulders back, reach the heart forward, gaze up, chin up. And exhale, round the spine, chin to chest, roll onto the sacrum, spread the shoulder blades. Inhale, come forward, 
apart, slingshots through the arms, elbows and shoulders pull back, gaze lifts, chin lifts, open the throat, open the heart. Exhale, opposite movement, round. Keep pulling on the knees though, tuck the chin to chest. Try to reach your pubic bone towards the center of your forehead. Inhale, come back to center, wiggle a little bit. Full breath in through the nose and full out of the mouth. And there you have it. I hope your neck and shoulders and upper back are feeling juicy. <laughs> Let me know how that went for you. And I hope to see you again soon.